I'm Colton Corkum. I live in Bridgewater, Nova Scotia. I competed in CNC machining and I currently run a CNC mill every day. Here's your first question. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Yeah. Too cold or too hot? Too cold. A nice car or a nice house? Car. Grapes or raisins? I like raisins. Peanut M&Ms or regular? Peanut. Zabumafu or Clifford the Big Red Dog? Clifford the Big Red Dog. Favorite color shirt to wear? Green. <laughs> Better name for a dog, Skipper or Craig? Skipper. <laughs> All right, you can, you can only have one of these for the rest of your life. All right, you have to pick between the two. Would you pick a wrench or a screwdriver? A wrench. A dishwasher or a washer and dryer? A washer and dryer. All right, here's my last question. Did you put ketchup on craft dinner growing up? No. Good. <clears throat> just yeah. want to make sure. I just want to make sure. Like, I know some people yeah. do, and I want to make sure we're on the same page that, you know, otherwise, man, this interview could have gone a whole different way. Yeah. You know, I don't even know yeah, what to expect yeah. after that. Yeah. Thank you. Good answer. All right. Let's, <laughs> let's do this for real. Colton, here's my first question. You told us you competed in CNC machining. Can you treat me like I'm five or... 27 like I actually am and tell me like what exactly CNC machining is okay uh, I use a computer program and I design a program to control a piece of equipment so I run a CNC milling machine and yep. I take raw material and turn it into pretty near anything that I want <laughs> could you like could you make me a chair is that a thing I could make you a chair but it'd be a lot of a waste of material <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk year one then, because year one, you competed in precision machining. Am I correct yeah. in assuming that? Yeah. And you won gold, right? Like that yeah. first, the first time you competed, you won gold? Yes. At Provincials. Were you surprised when you won that medal? I was surprised because I was so new to it. Yeah. And I don't think I've stressed over anything more in my life than that, because it was, it was new, right? Yeah. Could you maybe share, I guess, what happened after that Provincial medal and before Nationals that year? The big thing was my fear of flying. I just, I got on the plane and uh, through a series of events that happened before that, I was yeah. just too anxious to fly. So I had to get back off. Then let's fast forward right away to the year after. Year two, provincials, this time at CNC. Yeah. You win another gold medal provincially. I did, yeah. And then what happened after that? After that, me and my teacher, Andrew Morash, my second year teacher, we got right to work with practicing because that was another new thing I was into. I was only months into CNC machining. <laughs> That's crazy. With, between that and he played a big role in getting me on the plane. The <laughs> he, he made sure I went, I, I had to go to my doctor and get anxiety medication yeah. just to fly. Like I don't usually take anything like that but yeah it really worked and plus him being there the whole time it really saved me it really that way. and that would have been your first time on a plane correct it was yeah. yeah how did it feel once you got to edmonton once you got that like monkey off the bay that was well that was a big deal with me leading up to that so once i was there it was like a big weight off my shoulders but then the coming back to nova scotia was another <laughs> scary part but <laughs> i got back <laughs> Year three. So two years down, you've won two provincial gold medals. You've competed at nationals once. Year three was this past, well, I guess, a year and a bit ago when we hosted it in Halifax. Another gold provincially, and then you go yeah. to nationals. Closing ceremonies. What happened? Oh, I couldn't believe it. I was so excited. Like, I was, I was so hoping that I could get on the podium. That's all I wanted. I just wanted to get up there. And when they announced the bronze medal. Yeah. And it wasn't Nova Scotia. I was like, oh, no. I was so upset. But then I couldn't even understand at first, I guess, when they announced the silver medal was me that I just was so shocked. Do you feel, do you feel like the whole experience was worth it? Yeah. All the stress and anxiety <laughs> and everything, it was all worth it. Every bit of it. Like, <laughs> it's a total experience that I just... I wish I could explain it better, but I can't. And I wish everyone could do that.
Yo, Colton, how did how did this come up as a possible career for you? Like, did you have like an aha moment or something? You're like, yo, this is what I want to do. Or you kind of stumble into it. What, what happened? Well, I, I worked in a production job for five years when I got out of high school. I, I wanted to go back to school and do take a trade. Yeah. So I did some course test drives through NSCC. Okay. And once I seen this, I just knew that it kind of goes very well with my hobbies. You know, that's the best of both worlds though, right? Yeah. You know, you get an education, you get a job that like gives you money and stuff. And then you also get to use it for all your like, you know, passion projects too. Yeah. Um, do you want to talk about those a little bit? What are, what are those passion projects? What, what are your hobbies? What do you enjoy doing? Mainly I like restoring old vehicles and I like competing with them also. <laughs> I like taking an old vehicle and making it nice again and making it work better than it ever did. Tell us a little bit about the competition side then. What do you compete in? I do truck pools with my old truck. Yeah. So that's fun. I travel around the province and go to different areas. And I also do some drag racing too. So. Is that a thing in Nova Scotia? It is, yeah. I didn't know that was a thing. You can actually do that? Yeah, it's a big thing, yeah. <laughs> do you use your own cars or your own vehicles? Oh, yeah. You oh, yeah, my Yeah, I take God. my own vehicle, yeah. Have you, have you won anything in these? I got second place in one competition I was in a few years ago with a car of drag yeah. racing. That's wild. But mainly, I win a lot of trophies truck pool, though. In the last two years, I've won probably five of the truck pools I went to. So. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah, so it's, my setup is very good. <laughs> Take care, stay safe, keep fixing up cars and things, and yeah, good luck at your next competition when you pull obscene amount of weight with a vehicle. Yes, I will, yeah. Thanks a lot. <laughs> All right, buddy. See you later. Yeah, bye.